this is the most tedious and fastest method to deploy your json server on render.com welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can deploy your json server on render.com so first of all why this is important this is very important because when you perform fetch requests or axios request it is very important that your json server is deployed properly so that anyone can access it from any of their devices i understand if you are watching this video that means you understand the importance of deploying json server before this i have also made a detailed video how you can deploy a json server on render.com so this is a 9 minutes video and i have covered each and every step to deploy it but in this video we will go very fast and very quickly we are going to deploy our json server in just 3 steps kuch bhi you heard it right in just 3 simple steps we are going to deploy it the step number 1 is create the repository step number 2 is add your own data and step number 3 is deployment without writing a single line of code you can deploy a json server on render.com so without further ado let's get started so step number 1 is create the repository to create the repository we have to go to the github.com i hope you have it so i will provide you the link from which you can directly jump on this page so first of all you can follow me and obviously you can make this repository a star for your future references if you don't find this repository on the top of it you can obviously find it by typing it here so let's go inside it this repository is special because you have this option which is saying that use this template so i have written all the code and all the logic only you need to do is you need to click on this button use this template and click on the next button create a new repository from here once you do that you need to write the name of your repository uh, let us write it anything i have written a food okay so uh, make sure the repository is public and then you can click on this button create repository from template so step number 1 is completed you have created the repository now step number 2 is to add data in order to add data you have to first clone the repository in your local system so to do that go to your desired location and open it with vs code open the new terminal write the command git clone paste the link and hit enter so it will clone the repository go inside the repository you only have to make changes on this file which is db.json i have already added some dummy data here so which you can also use it but if you want to uh, remove it you can absolutely remove it but for in this case i am not going to remove it let's add some other data let's add a uh, data for to do so let's bring some dummy data so i will bring this to do once you add your own data all you need to do is write the command git add git commit then git push origin main now you can see it has been pushed in our main once we will go in that now refresh the page from here and you will see your latest changes has been added so you are done with your second step which is adding your own data now only the third step is remaining which is deployment in order to deploy your application you need to go to render.com so search it on google you will get the first link click it from there so i have already signed up so i am going to sign in from here to deploy a new repository you can click on this button new and from here choose web service next thing it will ask you to connect your git repository so you can see a few minutes ago we have created this repository known as food so we need to connect this click on that button connect now it is asking for the name of your service any name you can provide here and at the last you can see this button create web service click on this button and as you can see our deployment is in progress now wait for some time it will take some time a few moments later now after some time you can see this message deployment is live now you see top here you can see this click on this link 
and you will be redirected to that link and you can see congrats the resources has been added uh, this was some dummy data that i have already added and this to do that I have newly created so once you will click on that to do you will get all the data you can uh, perform all kind of requests which is get post patch put delete if you have any doubt regarding this video you can ask in the comment section below uh, and if you like this video make sure you like it and you can also subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for watching this video Khatam. bye bye tata